Hey Snackers, the staycation rolls on with a Monday edition of OTR. I'll be right back to tell you more about what I'm going to have under the big hat. All right, we are here for another OTR staycation review today at Arby's on the corner of Little River Turnpike and Beauregard Street here in Alexandria, Virginia, across the street from the former Duke Kebab location. You'll notice there is a new kebab place in there now called Royal Kebab. It's an Afghan kebab place, not a uh, Persian kebab place, so not exactly my favorite type of kebab, but that's okay. Maybe I'll try them out one day in the future once my bitterness for them taking over for Duke Kebab subsides. Anyway, I'm here at Arby's today to try out what you see there on the window one of the brand new mega stacks actually the mega stack that i'm going to try is not on the w window they have two of the other ones the reuben super stack and the club stack i am going to check out the brand new triple stack by arby's uh the, one of the three meat stack sandwiches and what you have here open it up This looks like a regular old sandwich that you'd make at home once you open it up. But on the inside, what you have here is supposed to be tons and tons of meat. And that meat is roast beef, turkey, and some kind of smoked bacon. I'm sure it's apple wood or hardwood or some kind of wood. Can't just be bacon these days. Underneath all of that meat and also some creamy white junk, which I assume is mayonnaise. You've got leaf lettuce, which is better than shredded lettuce. And there are some tomatoes underneath there as well. All of this on honey wheat bread. Um, this cost $6.59 for the sandwich. Uh, combo would have cost me somewhere around $9 or something like that. I really wasn't into that today. Uh, so I went ahead and also got an order of their Auntie Anne's pretzel nuggets. $1.99 for what's supposed to be an order of five. Uh, they are cheddar pretzel nuggets, that is. And uh, I believe Harmony from the SAS actually put a review of these up as well. And uh, she liked them okay, I think. Uh, we'll see how I like them in just a minute. And we'll see how I like this triple stack sandwich as well from Arby's right after this. Okay, guys, like I said, that sandwich basically just looks like something I could make at home. So I'm not terribly excited about it, but... Once you take a look at the cross section here, that is a lot of meat in this mega meat or mega stack sandwich. No wonder they call it the mega stack because that meat is stacked. Now, there was not a lot of the bacon in here that makes this triple stack a triple stack. In fact, on this half of the sandwich, only two small strips of bacon on there. So that's kind of cheesy if you know what I'm saying. And speaking of cheese, there is no cheese on this sandwich. I find that kind of unusual. Hmm. Let me look at the other side of the sandwich and yeah, two pieces of bacon as well and one of them is only that big. Okay, so I'm a little disappointed in the bacon distribution here, but let's hope the rest of the sandwich can hold up its end of the bargain and make it a mega meal, all right? Let me go ahead and try it out. Yeah. That is pretty much just a sandwich I can make at home. Um, in fact, in terms of the turkey, I can make a much better sandwich. I don't like the flavor of that turkey very much. The roast beef is the regular roast beef from Arby's. And that's a good thing. Um, the mayonnaise is nice and creamy. Uh, what little bacon that was in there was nice and crispy and smoky tasting, and I like that a lot. But that turkey just has a funk to it that I'm not really digging. Uh, the lettuce didn't get in the way, which is a good thing. It did its job. And the tomato was nice and fresh and tasted good as well. Nice and juicy there. Um, so your weaknesses here are the funky tasting turkey and the really pedestrian bread. I don't think that this is a great sandwich or a great value at $6.59, even though there is a lot of meat on it. It's just basic. It is really, really basic, so I'm not too psyched about this sandwich overall. I'm going to go ahead and have to give it a half of a thumb up.
can't give it much better than a half of a thumb up because it's so basic. It's not very imaginative. Let's just throw a bunch of meat on something and see how it tastes. Maybe I should have tried out the club because it has an actual, you know, roll on it. And maybe the roll was more interesting than this honey wheat bread, which really didn't have a lot of flavor, by the way. Just tasted like standard wheat bread, not honey wheat to me. Um, so, yeah, half of a thumb up on that. Let me uh, check out these Auntie Anne's pretzel nuggets. I guess they're owned by the same company, so that's how they come together, I would imagine. Uh, this looks different than what you would normally find in an Auntie Anne's restaurant texturally. These are very strange looking. They don't like regular pretzels. They're really doughy and soft on the outside rather than kind of hard and firm. That's odd, I find. I find that very odd. Uh, open it up and the cheese is not liquid on the inside as I would expect. It seems more like that cheese that you get in the uh, handy uh, snacks crackers. Uh, so kind of interesting there. Let me go ahead and try this baby out real quick. Really? Seriously? I can't even tell that these are pretzels. They're not chewy at all. The cheese, like I said, is not liquidy. That's a very odd experience. Um, I got some mustard, actually, to see if I could create a bit more, better pretzel experience. And uh, let's see how that goes, shall we? Well, at least on the first bite, the mustard makes it seem more like a pretzel, but overall, what a failure that is. Mushy, no consistency, no chewiness, no pretzel flavor, no salt on it. I really don't get that. Overall, I'm going to go ha have to give these... No, these are thumbs down, guys. Uh, I'm very disappointed in these. $1.99 for five of them. Maybe that's a good deal. Maybe it's not, but those aren't pretzels. They don't taste like pretzels. They don't feel like pretzels. The cheese is gross. Thumbs down on the pretzel nuggets, guys. Thumbs down. Don't like these at all. Will not get these again. Will not recommend them. Will not endorse them or any of the above. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned for the rest of the week for more Adventures of the SAS. I hope you liked yesterday's videos with the... Uh, Chocodiles, the return of the Chocodiles, and the Limeade Oreos, which are completely unnecessary. Uh, so watch those if you haven't watched them yet. And also check out the Hardee's uh, Texas Barbecue Thick Burger review from Saturday. That was a good one as well. Uh, definitely better than this outing. I'm not really digging this much at all, Arby's. You guys need to go back to the drawing board, in my opinion, on this. Anyway, uh, subscribe to the SAS YouTube channel. Follow me on Twitter at Brandon Reich SAS, hashtag Snack Society. Join the SAS on Facebook by clicking on the link down below. And in the meantime, in between time, I'll see you next time, whenever that may be. Oh, yeah, it's tomorrow. OTR. Bye-bye.